Welcome back to American Truck Simulator with the Rude Man. And in the last episode, I kind of talked about uh, purchasing a new um, garage in Arizona, in Phoenix to be exact. And I didn't quite have enough money. I did do a couple of offline trips and I think I've made enough money. It was $180,000 to, to buy the new shop. And I was going to actually borrow about $70,000. But... I've actually earned that much, so I don't have to borrow to buy the garage. Now, I could borrow 120000 to get a new truck, but I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to do that. So I'll tell you what, I, I'm sitting at the new garage, so let's go out and take a look at it. This is the new garage in Phoenix, Arizona, and it's uh, situated back in the corner it's actually a pretty good spot because it's right by the Kenworth dealer right here. So if I need repairs of any kind, I can jump over to the, to the Kenworth dealer. Now, I drive Peterbilt's. I do have one Kenworth, but, um, but I do drive Peterbilt's. So let's jump out and purchase this place. That's not going to leave us much operating money, but if I have to, I can always borrow a little bit more money. So as you can see, uh, I need to sleep and I need fuel, but... Let's start the old rig up here. And run over to this little spot over here. Alrighty. Garage is available. Do you really want to buy it? I guess so. So now we have two garages. Boy, it's kind of a dump, isn't it? <laughs> if you remember our first garage, it was a dump too. So we're gonna have to work to, to upgrade this booger because it's kind of nasty looking. The, the only thing, the other thing is, uh, if you notice, there's uh, there's no fuel depot or anything in the small garages. So can I, I wonder if I can sleep here at all. Let's go in and take a look. So in the other garage, if you drive part way in, it'll actually let you rest. Oh, it's gonna let me. Okay, cause I do need to. Uh oh. Income, driver Maximilian T. Driver Jana couldn't find a job. Cost me money. Yeah. Fuel and maintenance costs three hundred sixty-one. I'm in the hole. No, I'm not. Nine. I've been nine hundred and twenty dollars. All I have. So I gotta get a job in right away. Income twelve oh seven. So she did make a little bit of money. Come on. Loan installments in total of ten thousand two hundred seventy-five were paid. Did I have the money to pay them then? Hmm. Huh, I must have. Okay, well, let's go into the garage because I want to... I want... Uh-oh, that's going to tell me. I got emails telling me I'm overdrawn. You want to want to bet? Uh, your account is overdrawn. So I am in the hole. Oh. All right. Well, let's borrow a little bit of money. Let's borrow ten grand, if we can. That'll get us by till I can get a job in. Okay, uh, garage manager. I'm going to do, uh, let's take a look at Fresno. I'm gonna move Max, the new guy, over, and I'm gonna also go over to Phoenix. Or do I want my best driver? Well, let's see which one's the best driver. He's rated 2.5. He's They're both rated 2.5, and actually, and actually, Merrick, my old buddy, is is actually doing better. So I'm going to leave Merrick in Fresno because I want this garage to do well. And um, and let's see about Reese is 2.5. She's doing very well. And Jana is still 1.7. She's not coming up very fast. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me move. I'm going to leave this guy uh, in the Fresno, and we'll move uh, Max 
over to uh, the new garage, I'm thinking, I'm really thinking, huh. Maybe I better take Jana with me. I'm moving over to the new garage and I'm taking Jana and leave this one so it's doing well with my three top drivers. And then we'll work on the other one because this is my decent garage. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Let's move her. Um, how do we do that? Truck main driver manager right here, I think. Okay, Jana. We're gonna relocate her to Arizona and stick her in a slot. Okay. Did that do it? And then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna relocate myself too. So let's do this. I'm gonna re relocate myself. Uh, over to Arizona also. Okay, so now if I look at the at the garage, we should have drivers assigned three out of five, two out of three. So yes, that's Fresno still got our three our three guys here. Um, Oh, that's weird. Am I in transit? Is that what it's showing me? Weird. That's weird, tell you what. Okay, so let's see here. Um, let's start with Merrick and take a look at him. Driver manager. Merrick. Okay, how is he doing? He's doing... He's got three long distance. He's got... Uh, um, two in valuable items, two in fragile items, and two in just in time. And he's got three placards. So he's working on hazardous materials, hazardous target targo, cargo. So I'm going to leave him alone and um, let him jump up. Reese, let's look at Reese. She's in high value cargo and she's got three of those in there now. So let's work on her um, on her flammable stuff. Let's move her over to hazardous cargo. All right, and then Jana, she's in high value also and has no placards. She's She's got one of everything except for that. So let's move her also to hazardous cargo and then max the highest rated driver and he's all in fragile so god we're going to move everybody over to hazardous i guess and get them some training now i'm going to move back to merrick he's got three in hazardous let's move him out and give him um another fragile Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. All right. There we go. It's still showing us over there. Where's my truck? Move my truck over. All right, well, we need to go to work, make enough money to hire another driver. So, what do we got here? Another email. Overdraft settled. Yeah, I know. I borrowed the money. Okay. Well, let's find a job. What's this? I can't. I can't because my truck's not there. My truck is not there. I can't. I can't get a job. How does that work? You cannot move freely about the world because you don't have a truck to drive. Oh, I moved the drivers, but I didn't move the trucks. Oh, I got it. I, I got it. Okay, so we need to uh, follow the progress, check the drivers. Uh, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. How do I do this? Uh, garage, truck dealer, driver manager, manage the... 
All right, Fresno. Oh, shoot. How do I move the trucks? Um, truck manager. Truck manager. Okay. Peter built a uh, 579, 500 horsepower. That's me. How did I get to Fresno? Because I just bought that thing in, in Phoenix. All right. So we're going to relocate my truck to Arizona. I didn't know you had to do that. And send it there. Okay, and then the other Peterbilt, uh, we need to relocate, and we're sending it also to Phoenix. Uh, so that cargo slot, oh, I thought I did. Okay, thanks, sorry, thought I did. Guess I didn't. All right, now let's go back to the garage and take a look at Phoenix. All right, there we are, and we've got trucks. Take a look at Fresno, and uh, these guys are all mixed up. Um, well, anyway, there we go. So now at least maybe I can take a job. All righty then, we're in Phoenix, but before we take a job, I'm not gonna make that mistake. I need to get in my truck and sleep and get fuel. Right. Okay, it's uh, 8.30 p.m. Um, I did sleep, but I and I've got fuel. I'm okay. I'm okay. I can take a job. I can do it. I can handle it. So we're going to start in Phoenix. And let's see. We need... Uh, man, these aren't very high paying, are they? Sort by price. Wow, that's a long trip for $23,000, I tell you what. All right, we may not make this whole trip in uh, in one episode, so let's just get started. You know, where else Where else can we go, though? I wonder if there's places we can go that we haven't been. Yeah, we've been to all these places... Been there, been there, been there. Haven't been there. Let's take that job. Well, before we do, how much time do we have to get it? Oh, we've only got 51 minutes to get it. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, let's try something else. Been there. Been there. Been there. Haven't been there. Let's do that one. How much time have we got? Four hours to get that one. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. All right, start them up, truck. Well, this has the makings of a pretty decent garage. We just need to stick some money in it. Get us some more drivers. All right, where's our job at? It's down this way. I guess I could probably, whoa, whoa, whoa. Get in your own lane. Turn some lights on. Okay, now I have to remember not to speed because um, I was playing without uh, without the ticket thing. Sometimes I forget when I do that. When I play by myself, not recording, I take the uh, speed, I, can, I take it off so I can drive as fast as I want and not get any tickets, run lights, drive through town at 50 miles an hour, all of that stuff. And then I come back in to record and I forget and I start getting tickets right away. 
Also make it so I don't have to sleep when I'm just driving for fun. Or to make money. Alright, here's our job. In here. Give me some jobs. Um, take the job, you bet. Where's my truck? Over there. Booth number five, or bay number five, I should say. Don't hit the fence. Let's get back there. All right, legs are coming up. Let's hit the road, Jack. Oh, shoot. Did I hit that trailer? Oh, shoot. How the hell are you supposed to get out of here without hitting that trailer? Did I take any damage? Well, no. Didn't get any damage. That's good. Alright, let's try this again. I'm going to have to go out a little bit further first. Try not to hit the fence. And then... Cut it. Man, that's tight. Oh, jeez. That was like pencil thin. Get around this fence, we're gonna have to make a pretty wide turn here, so I'm gonna go out here a ways. Alright, we're heading out of town. Do I have the lights on? I guess so. I like my high beams on. I can't see very well. Okay, let's see. Let me get out on the freeway and then we'll take a look at this load. See what it is we're doing. Car zone. Car parts, accessories, and advice. Let's get out on the road. Make sure nobody's in my lane. Oh, we got a detour already. Doggone it. Alright, again. <laughs> I want to wait until I'm kind of in a straightaway. We can look at what we're doing here. Well, that's quite the detour. All right, let's throw some cruise control in here. And then, oh God, we got another turn. Phoenix is big, isn't it? Sooner or later, we're going to get a straightaway here. Okay, so we're look, we're doing office supplies, 37,000 pounds. Uh, the destination is Sierra Vista. Really? Uh, to the Wal Walberts. And um, 
We're only making $4,000 on this run. Short run, I guess. But that's okay. We spent a little bit of time in the garage today, so. All right, where are we going? Let me take a look at the map. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we're going down this Sierra Vista. Man, we're, in, we're almost down into Mexico. All right, so we're going to just take our time and cruise down the road. I wish, you know, that when you play this game, uh, you can select a radio station that is uh, streamed internet radio. And that is so much fun to just, you know, just tool around down the road listening to some tunes. I, I pretty much run most of the time the uh, Flower Power is the name of the radio station I play. Uh, majority of the time it's oldies I like oldies and uh, it's kind of cool now I can't do that when I'm recording because it's all copyrighted material but it would sure be nice if you could Everybody's mad at me because I got my high beams on. But, you know, hell, I can't see anything without them. It's pretty damn dark out there. Alrighty then. That's, uh... Put the oh 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 oh. See, I was busy watching the GPS. Didn't realize I was coming into town. And you got to watch this every minute, don't you? Huh. <sighs> All right. Well, it looks like we're heading straight to Tuscan. I know it's Tucson. Looks like Tuxin to me, though. Why they even put the C in there? Well, I guess it would be Tucson instead of Tucson. I guess the C makes it into Son. I don't know how that works. The English language is really effed up. I guess there's no stop here. You just go. Yeah, see, I can't see a thing without the lights on. I gotta have the lights on. So we're doing office supplies. It doesn't pay very good. But... I needed a short run. I spent too much time in the garage. And I wanted to go to someplace I hadn't been before. Open that map up. I think I'm speeding. All right, cruise control is your friend, or is my friend keep me out of trouble. 
Now I just need something to keep me awake. White line fever. All those yellow line over here. Yellow line fever. That actually sounds like a disease, doesn't it? Sorry. Welcome to Tucson. Have we been to Tucson before? God, those guys really don't like it when I have my high beams on, do they? We must have because it didn't say, um, it didn't say just discovering uh, Tucson. I have a free ride. I don't know why they call it a free ride, because nothing in this country is free. I'll tell you that right now. People think there's a lot of free stuff. There's nothing free. Somebody has to pay for it. And we're on the road again. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Nogales. Uh, I don't want to go to downtown, do I? Whoa. Oh, that was a cop. Sorry. I almost hit him. Didn't mean to. He was in my road. Thank God they don't give you tickets for having your high beams on. I'd be broke. I'm going to drive till sunlight and then I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I shouldn't have to sleep. This is not that long of uh, of a trip, I don't think. I better stick it back in cruise control. I'm getting trouble. I'll be driving 80 and a 75. Tucson residential area. Tucson must be a pretty good sized place. My old boss, uh, when she retired, moved to Tucson. Every time I see a yellow truck like this, I keep looking to see if it's got my logo on it. Um, if it's one of my drivers. I don't think that the game does that, but you never know. Okay, I'm ready. You guys can go anytime. Man, lots of places to sleep over there. I wonder if that's a truck stop. Look, it's a big dinosaur. Hey, we haven't been here before. It's just a rest area. big one though as it appears I suppose I should get over a little bit of green out here I don't know where the water's coming from but
have to come back in the daylight so I can see. I haven't been out here before, I don't think. And uh, I'm, I'm missing stuff that I can't see at night. Maybe I should have stopped into that rest area. Sierra Vista. So we discovered a new location. Um, I wonder if there's anything I'm supposed to find here. La she. Yes, there's a question mark right in the middle of town. Okay, cool. I almost didn't get my trailer off the road, did I? Or out of the other lane. All right, any day. Light can change. There it goes. Got your office supplies here. Where's Walbert's at? Up ahead. What's with all these stripes on the road? That's weird. I should have been in another other lane. Somebody's gonna come sneaking up next to me. Yeah, I knew it. Another truck's coming. Can I squeeze over? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a wide turn here. Go into Walbert's. Oh my word. This is a big store. Hello everybody. These guys are working wee into the wee morning uh, hours. All right, and there I am. Looks like an easy park. What? Oh, they put a bunch of junk in my way. Look at that. This doesn't look bad, though. All right, let's, uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know. I guess I got it. Yeah. We got it. We got it. I'm gonna crank it around, though. Straighten it up. Okay, I went in too sharp. Yes, I did. Now, oh, still too sharp. Straighten it out and then go back a little further and then crank it again. Oh, crank too late. Shoot. I hate doing it at night because I can't see. It's so dark back there. Yeah, I need. 
I need to crank a little bit short faster. All right, let's try this. This should be it. Okay, now we just straighten it up. There we go. All righty. 317 miles. Hey, look, I'm almost level 18. Cool. Well, that was a nice, easy little short trip. I didn't make very much money, but that's okay. Um, we'll make it up on the next run. I hope you had fun and like it if you did. Share it with a friend. We'll see you on Trucking Simulator in the next episode. Happy trucking.